This field is wide open. Everything that's around us, it begins with electricity. It's constantly growing and evolving, so I mean, it's, it's the future. Green energy is really taking hold. I mean, there's fuel cells, there's solar photovoltaic systems, uh, wind generation. There's always something new. I like the hands-on stuff, working with tools. You can start immediately in the apprenticeship program. I like to work with my hands. I think I would probably um, spontaneously combust if I had to sit behind a desk all day. Trades are for people who want to make a lot of money. They're for people who want to work with their hands, and they're for people who want to use their intelligence to build something. You know, I can drive, you know, down this road and be like, I did that. You know, I'm proud of that. Everything that's around us, it begins with electricity. Buildings, our homes, our businesses, our manufacturing facilities, wherever you find plugs and switches, that's all work that we do. Everybody needs electricity and it's, everybody's just going to keep needing it. And then 10 years from now, they're going to need even more of it and then even more of it. And it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I wanted to do some kind of work where I could work with my hands, make good money and travel. If you want a good steady job, come see us because I promise you, you can make just as much money here as you could do anything else or more. There's a lot of money in it, that's for sure. And I think that's what drew me to it. It's a lot of fun. You don't have to incur a ton of debt. There's a lot of money to be made in it. And there's a lot of flexibility. In the construction industries, in any trade, you can go from apprentice, from being in the ditch, to CEO of your own company. And you can do it debt free, all the time earning an incredible wage. I was working two jobs and uh, I was talking with my grandparents and my grandma suggested an apprenticeship program. Actually the first apprenticeship program that popped up was the electrical apprenticeship and I applied. I definitely feel like with this career I can be a homeowner because I didn't feel that way when I had my two jobs. I just feel like it's more interesting, uh, faster paying jobs I think. Get that journeyman's license, kind of the golden ticket for, for moving up, making more money, uh, setting yourself up for life, really. I would love to go and uh, get my license as a uh, journeyman. And uh, maybe uh, someday I'll love to be a contractor, get my contractor license, start my own business. I'd like to get my contractor's license, but that's going to be a ways from now. So right now I'm just looking forward to just getting journeyman's and just working my way up the ladder. An individual that wants to get into the electrical trade, um, they need to get into an apprenticeship program, whether they go to work for an individual and just obtain on-the-job training, they are required to have their contractor get them an apprenticeship registration with the state of Oklahoma. Uh, you are required to be registered as an apprentice to do any work in the state, and you must be employed by a contractor or be enrolled in a recognized apprenticeship program. Career Techs is a great uh, program to be a part of. They have that, the instructors here can get you an apprenticeship card uh, when you start the program. Uh, if you wanted to belong to um, the IBEW or IEC, AGC, those are some programs that have the ability to get in uh, an apprenticeship for electrical and they can get you those cards, get you that on the job training. But the individual needs to put in that time. Now after about two years as an apprentice, um, they could go for a residential journeyman's license if they've been in a career tech program, any of their schooling hours do count toward those uh, hour requirements for licensing. After they've obtained uh, a, a residential journeyman, if they wanted to continue uh, an additional two more years, they could become an unlimited journeyman. Unlimited journeyman is an individual that can work in commercial and industrial settings, or they can do residential if they want. It's just unlimited in scope. They can work on any systems whether it's in an industrial application doing the control work or if they want to just, you know, wire houses, they can do that, whatever they, they prefer. I really like the hands-on. I like the troubleshooting. I like that there's applied science and math to it and that there's a reason that something's happening and there's an answer to it. You have to know how to wire up three-way switches, four-way switches. There's uh, wires going into it, doing panels, and there's code for everything. 
you had to know stuff like box fill, how many amps you could have on certain circuits, uh, in kitchens, there's special rules for waterproofing things outdoors. So there's a lot of stuff more than just physical labor. Yeah, you can uh, take the skill and go uh, anywhere around the world and find work for it. You know, it's a trade that you can keep learning. Even though you have 20 plus years, you're still learning, you know, from other people. It's something different all the time. It's fun, it keeps you on your toes, and sometimes I'll come home like really gross and dirty, but I feel like I've gotten something accomplished for that day. Why become an electrician? Why work in construction? Construction are people that are doers. They want to get things done. They understand that they are not just building a building, that what they do impacts lives, and they build communities whenever we do that.